Hello, God bless you. Um, God bless you, brothers and sisters. My name is Princess, uh, Sister Princess, as I am popularly known. Um, on YouTube, Princess Eweka Ministry. On Facebook, Holy Spirit Worship. I want to talk to us quickly about uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 23, uh, excuse me, verse 28 to 29. And that's Jesus speaking. To us to me and you to everybody else um, so there he says come unto me Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 he says come unto me all ye that have labored and are heavy laden and I will give you rest come unto me all ye that are labored come unto me with all that trouble all that problems Bring it unto me. Stop chasing after the wrong channel. And I will give you rest. I'll give you peace. Come close to me. Know me more. Have a relationship with me. That is what Jesus was saying right there. Communicate with me. I am here. My ears are opened. I'm calling you. He says, come unto me, all ye that are labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I will give you peace of mind. I will take away that burden from you. But just come. God does not force anybody. He has given us the chance through Christ Jesus to come to him. And this is what Jesus is telling us. Come to me. I am here. I'm, go I'm going nowhere. I'm right by you. I'm speaking to you. Listen to me. Come. Come. Bring that trouble to me. And I will give you rest. Stop chasing after the wrong people. But many people, many of us, are, you know, I was once there. I made that mistake too. Many people, they don't, they don't do that. They want the shortcut. They run after miracle performance. I was once there in my quest for, actually, in my quest to know God more, uh, to to uh, to to have a closer relationship with God. I actually ended up chasing and following the wrong people, the wrong preachers that I came across on Facebook. But God, for God, even when I was younger, had given me a gift, especially the gift of dreams and visions. Just that when I was younger, I did not know what that was. And then for some years, in my teenager years and young adulthood, I still did not know until much later. So um, I ended up just chasing after the wrong people. Sometimes you feel you have to attend that crusade. Sometimes you feel you must, um, you have to attend that big church where all the miracles are happen. But if you notice a lot of the time, you go there. They pray and you fall on the floor. I'm not saying all of them. Please do not get me wrong. There are some powerful men and women of God that God is using. But if you look in the Bible, everyone that Jesus healed, there is no record of them coming back with the same problem again. Actually, when Jesus healed them, they started following him. They started following him. He healed them and they became strong believers. Their faith was strengthened. They became strengthened in the Lord. So it is not when you attend all those conferences and all those crusades and then they pray for you, you fall on the floor, you roll all over, you wiggle and some spirits speak out and then you go home, you are not even closer to God. You go home, the problems intensify or it just does not go away. That's what I was experiencing for some years. And by the time, by the grace of God, when God uh, finally began to speak to me to disconnect from those people, and I did not hesitate, I disconnected, and oh boy, did they come at me with the worst attacks ever. But glory be to God. He's saying here in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, come unto me. Come unto me, know me more. I will take away that problem. And then in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, it says, Take my yoke. Take my yoke. Take me. I'm here. 
pull me closer to you. Take my yoke upon you. Know me more. Read the Bible. Pray to me. Meditate quietly. Speak to me. I hear you. I'm here. That's what he's saying. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Learn. Learn from me. Look at me. Imitate me. Learn from me the things that I'm speaking to you now. I'm teaching you. Learn from me, says Jesus Christ. Learn from me, he says. I am meek. M-E-E-K. I am meek. I am calm. I am patient. I will not rush you. I will not judge you. I will not mock you. Says our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget that Jesus is God who came in the form of man. God, God came to us. He needed a body. So he had to come in to this earth. That is God speaking to you and I right there. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek. I am gentle. I am slow to anger. I will not push you away. I will listen to you. I will not rush you. I will not judge you. I am meek and lowly. I am calm in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Basically, in rounding up in these short videos that the Spirit of God, Spirit of God redirected me back to doing lately. Matthew chapter 11, 28 to 29. I'm just going to summarize that quickly in less than probably one minute. What God is saying to us there. He says, come to me. You have been chasing after so many things, so many people, so many false prophets. I was connected to a fake evangelist and fake pastor on this on on Facebook and YouTube and boy your boy. But when I realized this, that Matthew chapter eleven twenty eight to twenty nine, that Jesus is there, come to me. I went to Jesus and I just focused on Him. He began to direct me, and I have no regrets since then. Stop chasing after miracle performance. Stop chasing after miracle healers. They pray for you and that tumor, that whatever disappear right there in front of everybody to pull you closer and milk you. Just to milk you. You're going to be giving offering and tithes to them. And then you go home a month later, the same problem comes. They pray for you. You fall on the floor. The spirit husband, spirit wife, whatever speaks. It is their demon that is speaking. It is their own demon. In fact, the more they do, the more they put more demons on you. The more demons they put on you. You go there, you have two problems. Give it a month after that, being in, in, in their crusade or after they have prayed for you, you end up with 50 other problems. And that keeps pulling you back to them. So I'm here to tell somebody, no one is holier than thou. I do not preach holier than thou messages. I'm here to tell somebody, according to the book of Matthew 11, 28 to 29, come unto Jesus, all ye that are heavy lady, all ye that are sad, all ye that are broken hearted, all ye that are sick, tormented in your dreams, demonic attacks of all kind, and Jesus will give you rest. Because it's yoke. His yoke is the yoke upon Jesus Christ. Is light. He will even take your problem and give you a lighter load to carry. Get to know God more. Read your Bible. Meditate. Study. And pray. Prayer and worship is a very strong tool for believers. I pray today for you. Any demonic authority that is around you, any fake person, fake prophet, fake prophetess that is around you fake pastor fake evangelist around you praying for you and invoking more and more demons into your life let the fire of the holy ghost begin to disconnect you from them today in the name of jesus christ may the lord almighty direct you back to him if you have gone too far away
in the name of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord Almighty take away that burden from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I'll see you next time as the Holy Spirit direct. Once again, my name is Sister Princess on YouTube, Instagram, Princess Ewaka Ministry, on Facebook, Holy Spirit Worship. God bless you.